Hi everyone, how are you? Hope you're good. I'm a bit blinged out for you today because it's fireworks night. I absolutely love fireworks night. I just love the fireworks and the razzle and dazzle of the fireworks lighting up the London sky. It's just, I look forward to it every year. The story behind the fireworks, mm, I don't really like it that much. But, you know, I try not to get into the politics because, you know, as we evolve, you know, we evolve the reasons why we use things, I suppose. I'm kind of making excuses, but, yeah, you know, a bit glitzy and blinged up because the sky will be full of light and demontes and sparkles and glitter, whatever. <laughs> so this video today, I have been a little bit naughty and... Um, I bought a new perfume and it's a blind buy and I have got to big up a youtuber that's new on the scene but she is really really cool you have to check her out I'll put her link down below um, her name's Natalie but I, I can't remember the last name sorry Natalie um, because I call everyone honey darling sweetie I do forget names quite often but I'll put a link to her videos and she's got an amazing perfume collection and as I was watching her perfume collection, I was like, you know what? I need to get my notepad because, sorry, I've got to brush my hair. Blinged out the brushes well. Look, the brush, yeah. This is from my mother's dressing table. She gave it to my daughter, but, you know, we share. <laughs> yeah, so I was, like, looking at Natalie's perfume collection. Natalie, girl, your collection is love it. And I was, like, taking notes because there was, I love watching collections where I don't have, those perfumes and it's nice to learn something new and there's actually quite a few youtubers that have awesome collections there's too many to list but i'm going to just put a few selections down below in the description box and check them out um i will kind of do a shout out you know as the months go on but yeah these people have been really um inspiring me i must say yeah so i've done a blind buy based on a perfume that she has in her collection and there aren't many YouTube videos on it actually so I don't have much time unfortunately but I'm going to try and give you as much information as I can so I'll just show you with you the perfume that I was wearing today this is by Boucheron Boucheron Paris and um, this is an eau de parfum and it's called Place Vendôme and there's a lovely history behind this but I'll talk to you about that another day but I don't have um, I don't have this perfume on my wrist or my neckline or pulse points I just sprayed it on my waistline today this smells like champagne and sherbet and if you're from the UK do you remember those sweets Space Invaders you know the little far circular sweets that look like um what do they look like they look like ufos and inside you've got that sherbet i'm not sure if americans call it the same thing so just imagine tasting that and drinking champagne this is what is this is sherbet and champagne <laughs> boucheron and there's loads of flankers on top of this as well so ange or demon came today just now just collected it from my next door neighbor in the post and you know what if you're from the United Kingdom do you know that super drugs have an outlet store on eBay and I'm telling you the prices are ridiculously low and it's two-day delivery tracked with Royal Mail so I'm, I just found it by accident good thing to do when you're about to buy perfume always go onto Google and go to shopping or a really good website that I said before in another video is pricebuy.co.uk. You go to pricebuy.co.uk, whatever you want to buy, whether it's a laptop, perfume, a coat, handbag, whatever, just type it in and it will try to show you the lowest um, price um, of whatever you're looking for. And that's how I found out about the Super Drugs outlet store. So this is the Eau de Parfum and this is the 50ml. Now, I need scissors. Where's my scissors? Oh, aren't these cute? Aren't these cute little manicure scissors? There's a shop called Tiger. 
and I think it's only like two pounds, two quid. Tiger is a really good shop. It's a Scandinavian store, I think, and it's very Nordic. And they are. It's a really good shop to go for during Christmas time. It's kind of like it reminds me of IKEA. Like if IKEA just sold accessories, I think it would be very similar to Tiger. It's so affordable, so inexpensive. I've had this for a little while. So I'm not sure if they still sell this, but they're so cute. I've got this in this colour, peachy oriental girl, and a white one as well. I'm just going to use it to open my packaging of the Ange au Demon. Now this is, sorry, I need to be clear. This is a Givenchy Ange au Demon, which I think is translated as Angel or Demon. And this is Le Secret. Le Secret. I think it's pronounced dodgy French sorry but there are different variations you have orange or demon the classic eau de parfum which is like a purple then you have orange or demon eau de toilette and you know the list goes on check it out on Fragantica you'll know what I'm talking about so I've never smelt it before and I really hope I like it I don't like it when blind buys go wrong but we shall see, we shall see. So I hope that you're all well. Hope that you're all behaving yourself. Do you celebrate fireworks night? What do you do? Do you have like fireworks in the garden? To be honest with you, every single year we go to a park and the mayor is there and it's a free entry thing and there's, um, there is a fun fair, great, great music, you know, and I always take a big hot flask of hot chocolate and some nibbles and we have the greatest time. But you know what? It's raining like cats and dogs out there and I'm just not in the mood. No, my hair is reverting back and it's just cold and horrible out there and I'm not in the mood for wellies this evening. So when my daughter comes home from school, she'll be disappointed. But They've got a massive fireworks night in Blackheath and my friend lives down there and she's invited us to, you know, go and watch the fireworks with the children. And I don't mind that because when you go with more people and we have umbrellas and, you know, the same stuff, take snacks and we'll just, we'll have a laugh with it. We'll dance in the mud, but I'm not in the mood. So, yeah, I won't be, I'll just be looking out my window watching all my neighbours light up the sky tonight. So I'm opening it. I always open it from the bottom because I want to keep the cellophane on because I like sometimes when I'm presenting it on my shelf, I like it to look brand new. I've said that many times in my videos. It's exciting, isn't it? I just always get, ooh, I always get a rush when I get a new perfume. Darling, what a lovely bottle. You know what, there's an Ange au Demon Le Secret 2014 and I'm wondering if this is the one because the ones that I've seen, it has a horrible black banner to describe the, um, the scent and I don't like that black banner, I think it looks weird. This doesn't have it, it looks a lot more sophisticated, it's got beautiful, wow, it's like a cut glass spine at the back, three dimensional, here we go. Natalie, I hope I like it. It won't be your fault anyway if I don't. Oh, it's a bit difficult to take off. Okay, ready? I always sniff it actually sometimes to see if it's brand new. I can't smell anything. Right, here we go. Wow. It's lovely. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, oh. Class. Yes, this is sophisticated. Oh, it's changing. Wow. Do you know what? It's what perfume does to my senses. Is what just makes me wild for it. This is a sexy perfume. I've heard that it's not long lasting though, but it smells like it's gonna be. This is really gorgeous. Now the word that I use all the time. If you watch my videos, it is a tropical scent yes it is this smells tropical it smells it smells 
electrifyingly electrifyingly it just smells like class it smells like look, look look how i've changed look my posture yes 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 <laughs> i'm so silly aren't i no honestly no exaggeration this smells really amazing this is something i would buy again and again is it changing god it's so sweet it's sweet it's almost like Dahlia Divan Eau de Toilette but it's more it just smells like crystals it smells like crystals and pear and I don't know if it's vanilla do you know what let me read the notes I've got it here let's see let's see what I do I go into Progantica on my phone and then I is it snapshot I just take a picture of the screen and then I can just like go back to my picture and I can just read it back to you because sometimes my internet lets me down and it makes a weird noise on the webcam right so it is described via Fragantica as fresh it is green yeah I can say it's green citrus citrus you know it's fading a little bit it's not that strong or maybe my nose has got used to it, so I'm just going to have to spray it again, aren't I? Oh, yes, baby. Gorgeous. Oh, it smells so lovely. Um, floral, white floral, fruity. Yep, champagne. Oh, no, the, okay, so it's described as champagne pink in colour. It is like a beautiful rosé light pink um it was released in august 2009 smells really upstate modern yuma thurman was the advertising face and it has white flowers italian winter lemon that's important actually i need to get back to you on that green tea green tea leaves jasmine my favorite peony I love peony, blonde wood and patchouli. The patchouli is way in the background somewhere. It's not bothering me. It's beautiful. Very, very similar to Dahlia Divan Eau de Toilette, I must say. I think the Dahlia Divan has got an extra punch, though, of something even more delicious. Okay, so what was important about that? Was it Italian winter? Was it Italian winter lemon? Italian winter lemon. How, how sophisticated does that sound? What I wanted to say quickly, in winter, I either go for the deep comforting sense, like the hypnotic poison by Dior, or I go for more fresh. Like, you know, if you look at the landscape and it's kind of like the sky is kind of like a white grey cloud, and then, you know, imagine if it was snowing, then I kind of go for those kind of fresh, angelic, gentle, pretty kind of dazzling champagne scent with sweetness to it or I go for like a deep cuddler like you know if you're on the sofa and you get a big blanket and you just want to kind of feel you know um just deep you just want to smell deep warm and sexy so I either go for the two and this is really the landscape of winter you know the white cloudy sky bright sun bright winter sun and it's just a reflection of the decor, the Demontes, you know, and the Christmas lights, the holiday lights, and the fireworks. <laughs> I'm so romantic. I am so, like, over the top. I know. Get used to me. But honestly, Natalie, thank you, sweetie. This is gorgeous. This is going to be forever. Brave. Okay. And I nearly, I nearly got all the way through this video without a slip up. This is going to be a forever favourite. Thanks, Natalie, for showing your collection. And Givenchy. Ange or demon, though? Where's the demon in it? No, there's no demon. This is completely ange, angelic. So if you want something deeper and a bit more mysterious, it's not going to be this. But if you want to smell like an angelic winter goddess, try your luck on this. It's beautiful. And try super drugs. Can you imagine? But it's 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 not long lasting, or it's just that my nose 
has just got too used to it. I don't know. But yeah, great perfume. See you soon and enjoy the fireworks.